So when you say, it's a, in a work in progress, what is the overall nature of the work that is in progress? Well, I got the idea from, for doing that from James Joyce's Spinning His Wake, which took 20 years for him to write. And he, during that 20 year period, he published short excerpts and called it Work in Progress. Mm -hmm. Is uh, the Undesirables uh, going to eventually form something more like a uh, feature film, feature-length film? Well, it's a possibility, but I call this the condensed version, and I kind of think of it as a um, as a thing in itself, as the condensed version. Some people have told me they, they find it interesting this way. Now, how long has the filming been taking place for this piece? Uh, Undesirables was almost entirely filmed in San Francisco approximately 10 years ago. And we added the conclusion more recently. Mm -hmm. It was originally shot on film, right? Yes. Was the original intention to finish it on film? Yes, but since then, film has more or less become obsolete. Do you still have the original film? Yes. <laughs> well, that's good. Okay, I see he's arrived with the DVD player, so maybe another minute. Well, do you have any, are you finding any issues or problems with completing them in video, though? I mean, aside from the obvious technical difficulties which we're experiencing, but does it work differently for you as a medium? Yes. Does it work differently for you as a medium? to complete them in video? Well, it's very hard to work in film now. Most of the film labs have closed, and, you know, there are all sorts of um, practical difficulties working with film. They're cutting out a lot of film stocks. So it, it's easier in many ways to work in video now. But does, how does it work for, how do you like it, though? I mean, aesthetically? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm functioning more as a writer now, so it really doesn't matter that much. If I like my screenplay, I'm, I'm happy, then whatever happens after that, it's up to the gods. <laughs> <laughs> Has uh, Michael Snow seen any of this? I don't know. Oh, what about the, um, we're going to show, when are you going to show the uh, Thanatopsis in them? Um, well, I thought after we show the next video, if it works. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Let's see what he's saying. We're also showing two oh, of the we... films that were used for the pastiches in Undesirables, the original films by M. Schuller and um, Rampton. Yeah, we're going to show those after this p next piece. I thought we would do some more Q&A. Any additional questions from what we've seen thus far? Perhaps there aren't any at the moment. Or comments, or angry uh, ejaculations of any kind. <laughs> <laughs> what happens to Christian after that experience? What's the next thing? Um, he turns into a Christian tantric. <laughs> <laughs> Conversion experience. In a way, yeah. Hence the Cat Stevens. <laughs> <laughs> yes, did you uh, choose the Cat Stevens for that conversion element as well? No, just because the song I, I like the song. <laughs> <laughs> And one thing you've mentioned to me is that you don't care for your earlier work at this time. Is that right? Why is that? I don't care for is the right word. I would say I hate it. <laughs> <laughs>
What what's the uh, what was the uh, defining moment of your antipathy to your early work in this regard? Well, if you if you viewed my my work chronologically, you'd see that there are quite a few changes. Oh yeah. In subject matter and in um, technique. Yes, technique and form. And I think that would almost answer the question by itself. So the chances of you doing anything remotely like uh, flooding balloon are remote to zero. Well, I was a a college student, art student, in art college at that time. I really hadn't formed my uh, my mature aesthetics. Would you say that your more mature aesthetics came in around the time of, say, White Angle Saxon? I think that's when it started. I still like a lot of parts of on the marriage broker joke. Oh, yeah. Anything prior to that, I find very hard to watch now. Well, is that just more of a personal reaction, of course? Many people don't want to watch their old work, or do you think the films are not good anymore? Trying to analyze your question. <laughs> um, do I think, you're saying, do I think the films are not good? Not that, do I think the films are not good anymore? Obviously, the films are the same as they were then, mm -hmm. except for some uh, physical deterioration of the films, not of me. <laughs> Well, I think it, this all has to do with uh, minimalism and um, um, various trends in the art world in general. Um, when I started making films, I was a painter and painters really we're not using subject matter at the time. It eliminated subject matter. Even the most extreme would be somebody like Ad Reinhardt. Who eliminated color, line, drawing, representation, etc. I think some of my early films partake of that approach, they have no real subject, and they're, I see them as formal exercises. Suppose that's why I, f I feel they're incomplete as an experience for me. Not just my films, but most of the art made in the world since um, the 19th century. I know you've been writing a lot of poetry, right? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like, I mean, and then you said that you feel like you're a writer with these films. So it seems like the word is, words are really important right now for you. Yes, I'm, in fact, I wrote, I have five more screenplays that I want to do as films. <coughs> so that's a big change, because I never really wrote anything in connection with film, even the films that do have some, some dialogue, like on the marriage broker joke, were not really written as screenplays. And there was no script, per se.